All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, even if you don't help the Prophet, Allah helped him. When the disbelievers drove him out, when the two of them were in the cave, Muhammad said to his companion, do not worry, Allah is with us. And Allah sent his calm down to him, aided him with forces invisible to you, and brought down the disbelievers' plan. Allah's plan is higher. Allah is almighty and wise. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. The Prophet's migration from Mecca to al Madinah is full of lessons to consider. It is the greatest turning point in the history of Islam. Among the most important lessons that one should consider in this regard are the careful planning and thoughtful arrangement of all details of this blessed journey. Planning is a scientific method to overcome crises and one of the prerequisites of success. This is evident when our Prophet, peace be upon him, prepared two camels for the blessed migration, chose Abu Bakr al-Siddiq as his companion in the journey, and decided to start the journey at night time, as this was the most appropriate time to get out of Mecca. One who observes the course of the Prophet's migration would discover how the Prophet distributed rules and tasks with the utmost precision and perfection. The Prophet, peace be upon him, ordered Ali ibn Abi Talib to sleep instead of him in his bed, covered him with his clothes in order to distract the disbelievers from following the Prophet and to return deposits entrusted to the Prophet to their owners. The Prophet's interest in planning and making use of available means continued when the Prophet visited his companion Abu Bakr at the expected time to migrate together. Before this, the Prophet asked Abdullah ibn Abi Bakr to investigate the news of the people of Quraysh so as to be aware of their conspiracies. Abdullah used to collect news during the daytime and go to the Prophet and his companion spending the night with them and in the morning would start again collecting news. Abu Bakr had ordered his servant Amr ibn Fuhaira to provide them with food through herding his sheep near the cave and to remove the traces of Abdullah ibn Abi Bakr footsteps. In addition, Asma bin Abi Bakr, known as that al Nitaqain, had to walk through a hard way to the cave of Thawr to bring food to the Prophet and his companion. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his companions and followers. Among the most important lessons to be taken from the Prophet's migration is the dependence on competent people to fulfill duties suitable to their capabilities. The Prophet and his companion Abu Bakr hired a man to guide them in their way to Medina through a tough and an untrodden road. This man was Abdullah ibn Uraiqat. He was a non-Muslim. However, the Prophet chose him out of belief in using qualified person and making use of their powers, regardless of the difference of ideas, visions, and faith. Aisha narrated, the messenger of Allah peace be upon him and Abu Bakr hired a man as an expert guide. They had confidence in him and gave him the riding camels and told him to bring them to the cave of Thawr after three days. So he brought them to riding camels after three days and both of them, meaning the Prophet and Abu Bakr, set out accompanied by Amir ibn Fuhaira and the, guys, and the guide who took the road leading to the seashore. All this teaches us the necessity of making use of available means, good planning, and depending on qualified people on all matters, especially great ones. This does not contradict the, the faithful reliance upon Allah. The Prophet was able to ask Allah to give him a creature like al buraq to move from Mecca to al Madinah. However, the Prophet wanted to teach us the necessity of using available means and making careful planning. After all this, the outcome is left for the Almighty Allah. 
This was clear in the conduct of the Prophet peace be upon him, who, after his arrangements for success and victory, said to his companion, Don't worry, Allah is with us. Therefore, his reward from Allah was that Allah sent his calm down to him, aided him with forces invisible to us, and brought down the disbeliever's plan, because Allah's plan is higher, and Allah is almighty and wise. O Allah, I ask you to be a good follower of the Prophet, peace be upon him.